What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hopefully your weekend's going well. Thank you to all who was able to come on to Overtime last night. Appreciate the support. But as promised, the all-exclusive 10,000 PSA club list is complete. So the Blues are the ones that were on there before that were waiting to pop the 10,000. Anything that has like that, I don't know what color you want to call it, like manila looking color, is new that I added to the list. Um, you got the 2018 Revolutionary, or Revolutionary, Revolution LeBron, Tops Lou Bob rookies, Mosaic Zion rookies, Lou Bob Tops Chrome rookie, Soto Tops uh, Chrome Update rookie, Alvarez Tops rookies, Kobe White Prism rookies, uh, Wander Franco just made the club. Uh, I don't know why I have that in that same color. I must have messed up on that. But he's brand new into it. Uh, Glaber Tops Update the Pinstripes. Kyle Lewis Tops Rookies. Tops Chrome Acuna. Tops uh, Bichette's. Yeah, crazy. We're getting a lot of cards up in there. And there was more that was coming to my mind as I was finishing this up that I'll probably start looking at next time as well. But something I found really crazy was the 2018 Topps Chrome Acunas. 86% is the gem rate. 86% high numbers. Same with the Kyle Lewis Topps. Um, Wander Franco Bowman Chromes. Soto Topps Chrome Updates, 89.7. 80.6 for Topps Chrome Luis Robert. I mean, it's just amazing when you start seeing the big numbers on to it. And then you look at something like an 89 Topps Trady Griffey. You know, there's over 12,000 of them, but they got a 16.6% gem, PSA 10 gem rate. It's insane. Uh, one of the biggest jumps, Gavin Lux 2020 Topps Rookies, 1,549 now more PSA 10s out there. So lots of PSA 10s floating around with a lot of this base stuff. You probably will never see like silvers hitting this or variations much. They may still have a couple thousand in the pop count, kind of high in some ways. But when you look at the overall, this really starts speaking of the production levels that are out there from what they made of the cards. Huge. But I wanted to get this out so everybody could use it to whatever you want to do. Buy, sell, trade, hold, whatever it may be offhand. Um, really interesting as I start doing this, the more and more I start thinking into it because we still got a ton of bulk out there. How much more are these numbers going to go up with bulk? It, it could be really, really high, especially with Zion mosaics. I mean, everybody knows Zion is coming in over 300 pounds. I've heard 300, 330, 360, whatever it may be. I don't even know if he's coming back this year, and but his cards have taken a huge dip. If you're in for a big gamble, I mean, pick up a couple of Zions out there and see what happens. But, you know, you don't want to pick up a lot of this stuff because it's going to be high pops. I, I think kind of the Prism Zion rookies kind of settled, but they took a dip now with the pictures of him gaining all that weight while he's been out. Uh, just, I mean, just amazing with some of this stuff that's, you know, just going through there and looking at it. And if you look at yesterday's, uh, video, along with what I talked in overtime with the big shift into basketball, baseball dropped a big, huge chunk with what's being submitted. Soccer had a little boost. And then, uh, your Pokemon had a nice boost as well, too. We're going to start seeing a lot more stuff filtering in. We probably won't really get a good grasp on what 2021 brings until they open up bulk services again and seeing how much those get flooded of like Herbert, Burrow, LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards. Um, I don't know too much for the baseball rookie class this year. People will grade, but, you know, I mean, you did have some guys that did well, like Mount Castle, you got Kelnick and stuff like that. But a lot of those guys already had their first Bowman, so now you're looking at like their prospect and their regular rookie cards that are out. But I'm sure we'll see some highs onto that, especially with Tops when it comes out next, uh, oh, this January coming up with the Wander Franco rookies being in Series 1. I can just see people holding those and just trying to get them pushed out immediately to be like one of the first on the market to get that huge increase. 
that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys need to pause it just so you can look at it, go right ahead. I feel free to leave any comment you want onto it onto this chart. If you guys have some ideas of things that need to be added because you recently got orders back and it has high pop counts, as always, you can email me, leave it in the comment section. I'm going to start looking at like tops, chrome, bichettes, stuff like that there as well. It's just uh, there's not a whole lot of football. I don't think that's going to hit the 10,000 for a while until we see the 2021 stuff start floating in, really. Because we know Select went retail on it this year. All the Prisms. Uh, there was another one, too. Optic. Those three there will probably have some big pushes into it as well. And I know I didn't put the Optic Zion up there, too. I need That's something I have in my notes. I forgot about it. But uh, we're going to put that one up because I'm sure those numbers are getting high as well, too. But other than that, everybody, have a good weekend. And I will see you guys live when my triple threads comes in.